Next question is from Marissa White, 750. Can you please explain insulin resistance? You know, this is a big, big issue in uh, in modern societies. This uh, this contributes to obesity, inflammation, heart disease, cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, dementia. It's a big issue. And in a nutshell, without getting too complicated, what it essentially means is the insulin that your body is producing isn't working as well in your body. It's like you need more insulin to do the same job that less insulin used to do. So what ends up happening with your body is it produces more and more insulin and your body becomes more and more resistant. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, downstream, what is that? That's diabetes, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Would you consider that like pre-diabetic uh, like, uh, symptoms? Yes. And in fact, you know, now researchers are saying, because they'll, they'll measure your fasting glucose and say, oh, it looks like you might be developing some insulin resistance. Now researchers are saying it starts way earlier than they thought, mm -hmm. where it can even start as a kid. Um, and then it takes, you know, years to really turn into full-blown uh, insulin resistance. So I guess the, the second part of this, the important part of this is how do we avoid insulin resistance or how do we make our body become more sensitive to insulin? This is what the, the, the low carb zealots attach a lot of their, their, their research or the stuff they talk about, uh, to the research around this. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, then you have people like our friend Lane who will, who challenge it strongly. And I, and I agree with Lane when he challenges this. The only thing I don't like is I think it's a bad message to present to people because this is where uh, eating so much carbohydrates, uh, and, and I think as, as a whole, our society does that so much that it can lead to this path. And so I know he tries to debunk a lot mm -hmm. of the, the material that the low-carb zealots use about insulin resistance. Uh, but at the same time, too, I think their intentions to try and get people to eat less sugar and to reduce their carbohydrate intake is an overall good message. For it people. is, but it's really, okay, so you can develop insulin resistance on a low-carb diet. There's mm -hmm. there's connections between insulin resistance. Although it's a lot and less a, likely. It is, but, but my point is they've shown insulin resistance developing with a high-fat diet. Now, here's the thing that they all have in common. High, high calories, calories, right? right? Yep. You eat a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar, and your calories are always high. Um, and then, of course, you combine that with inactivity. Now the risk goes up. Here's the biggest risk. The biggest risk is lack of muscle. In fact, yes. building muscle, regardless of body weight, so you can even be obese, building muscle is one of the best, most effective things you can do. It's your best protection. Improving insulin resistance. So if, you, if, you, if it runs in your family, diabetes runs in your family, if insulin resistance is a concern of yours, build muscle. Your muscle is like one of the most effective bulwarks against you know, uh, insulin resistance. It's a very insulin sensitive tissue. It stores some sugars and carbohydrates. Um, when you work out, you know, it's it it it, it, low, it, re it increases your insulin sensitivity. Well, isn't this isn't this directly connected to the amount of time that the body takes to take a carbohydrate and convert it into sugar? Right. Part of it. And that, of it. and then when you come insulin resistance, it, it accelerates that dramatically. Is that the, the opposite? I of mean, it? it's it's all kind of connected. It's it's probably a little more complex than that, but it's it's well, literally yeah, we're, we're always looking for a simpler way to explain it to the audience. So yeah, I, I would say you know really it's just your your I mean just to put it in a nutshell it's just it's insulin stops doing its job right. So you eat carbohydrates or sugar, insulin goes up to drive that into areas of storage, whether it be body fat or muscle or the liver. And so if you have more muscle, you have more place to store it. That's part of it, right? And then, of course, muscle itself, increase, just on its own, increases insulin sensitivity. It's by far the best thing you could do. In fact, when they put men on, and I know this from talking to uh, you know, uh, certain doctors, when they put men on testosterone replacement therapy, because when a man has low testosterone, he loses muscle, and when they raise his testosterone – he tends to add muscle, regardless if he's working out or not, right? Because it's a, it's a hormone driver. By doing so, when the muscle comes on their body, they notice better numbers. Insulin resistance goes down and sensitivity goes up. So then, I mean, obviously, you have a client, you're training them, you, you they go to their doctor, doctor comes back, tells them that they're insulin resistant. You as a trainer, obviously, you're already on a program to build the muscle because that's mm -hmm. part of your job. What are you coaching them on diet? What are you saying to them different about their diet? I'm reducing carbohydrates now. Yeah. I mean, and and, and calories. Uh, reducing carbohydrates and calories. But you know, here's the thing with reducing carbohydrates: when you already have insulin resistance, it's almost like you're solving the problem, but not the root necessarily. It's like now we're at this place. So now reducing carbohydrates makes a big difference, but really what would have fixed it is if we just made your body yeah. more sense. This is why, like people with like Alzheimer's and dementia. 
you put them on a ketogenic diet and their cognition improves. It's not necessarily because the carbs in their diet were, were make, having the problems. It's because their body doesn't utilize the carbs very well anymore. Mm -hmm. And it needs ketones now to operate you know, much better. So again, the best thing you can do is build muscle.